You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, taking a little bit of a journey back to some of the figures I've missed um, probably over the last couple of years, really. Um, Boba Fett, we're looking at the Boba Fett Vintage Comic Art, this is VC-277. Uh, yeah, I initially decided to pass on these on these Fets. Um, it's only recently that I've kind of decided, you know what, I'd like to have more variants. I've got my little Boba Fett display. Um, and yeah, having picked up some of the other, you know, Boba Fett variants over the years, I decided, now nah, look, I'm going to try and track these down. Um... And yeah, the supplier that we get our figures through through work, through KesselRunHair.com, um, they had some of these back in stock. So I thought, you know what, I'll grab them. I'm going to start off talking about this one. Um, and we'll do a little comparison to a previous comic pack version. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm liking the artwork. But you know what, I'm all about the figures. I'm all about busting these open. The artwork's cool, but the figure, being able to display the figure like this, even better. So let's bust it open and have a look. All right, here is Boba Fett out of the packaging and I've already taken the liberties of putting him on a stand. Uh, one of the Kessel Run action figure stands. Three different pegs and an extra sort of removable arch to put in just for the extra stability. Um, yeah, he does have the peg holes in the toes, uh, but yeah, it's it allows enough room for the stand to sit flush. And uh, yeah, he stands on there nicely. So again, yeah, that's sort of one of the reasons why I decided initially to pass on this these Boba Fett figures was I thought, oh, they're going to make a thing out of this and we're, we're going to get another full line of, of comic-style artwork action figures. Um, and they've kind of done that bef before in comic packs. We've had some sort of... They've had that sort of highlight effect um, from the comic pages. But I'm glad they sort of just stuck with Boba Fett this time. Um... Yeah, gotten to this point. They've been out for probably about 12 months at this point. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad they just stuck with with a couple of different Boba Fetts. Um, and didn't go on another sort of sub-line of, of action figures in different colours. Um, we've seen enough of that over the years. So yeah, accessory-wise, he's got his jetpack. Sort of a nice, sort of almost a baby blue like grey. With the white rocket. And the rocket isn't removable on this one. This one's solid piece. So slightly different to the other jetpacks that are we've had with a couple of the other recent Boba Fetts from like Book of Boba Fett and Mandalorian. But they do have the ability to have the flame effects and a removable rocket. Um, but that's fine. And the peg's back in there nicely. It does come with his Empire Strikes Back. Sort of blaster rifle there, which is cool. Looks good. It's in a sort of a purple color. Again, going with the deco of the figure. And then his smaller blaster, which again, sort of the same blue as that jetpack. He doesn't come with a holster though. Or does he? No, he doesn't. No holster for this one. So you kind of left with a little bit of a choice of which, which weapon to... Uh, set him up with but I think we'll just stick with the classic blaster rifle the purple I think that looks kind of cool so paint applications have been added really nicely I, I do like the look of you know particularly the like the highlights on the visor of the T visor there I think it looks kind of cool that sort of reflective sort of nature Almost cell shaded. Well, they've done a few Marvel Legends uh, action figures with that sort of cell shaded look. It's kind of cool. Again, you got the uh, Mythosaur skull there on the shoulder. And he's got his other little signet there on the chest. So sticking with those sort of iconic details, it works well. Yeah, the only sort of disappointment with this helmet, despite being a super nice sculpt, is the rangefinder doesn't move. 
wish that was something that was was addressed but you know in terms of sculpt it looks good but yeah just if you could get that rangefinder shifting up and down it would be far far better so again a lot of the sort of differentiating colors with the the white undersuit nice vibrant looking looking colors and still sticking with the soft goods on the back for his little poncho cape so it looks nice and just sort of tucks in there very nicely which is very good so I definitely dig the look if you bear with me for just a moment, I'm going to get one of the original comic versions. We'll take a look at that one. And as you can see, this one, this one came in a comic pack with a purple RA7 droid. Which was cool, and this one's, uh, this one's been pretty cool on the shelf for the amount of years. And you can definitely see the advancements in sculpt. I think this one had the movable rangefinder. No, he didn't. And if he did, it stuck. <laughs> but yeah, probably not the same exaggerated sort of comic colours, but yeah, definitely got that sort of paint deco style with the white on the cheeks and, you know, the sort of solid colours. Some yellow sort of splashes over it. For the longest time, this was just my... My standard Boba Fett back in the day. Until I got more, but this was, yeah, probably one of my most recent, my newer sort of modern Boba Fetts back when I really started hitting the collecting track again. But yeah, I just thought I'd do a little side by side with the two. As you can see the one on the left, the new one. Yeah, the sculpt is vastly superior. Really, really nice. But yeah, they'll still display really nice together. So looking forward to uh, bumping these up on the shelf together. But thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you checking it out. I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with the, uh, the Death, Lies and Treachery version. So stay tuned for that one. And uh, we'll see you, on, see you then for the next video. Until then, may the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.